For those of you who are taking writing workshop, I wanted to provide an option to you for our next review, our next figurative language review scheduled for this Friday, May 27th. Um, I want to give you an option to work in teams to provide 10 examples and one definition of the following types of figurative language. You can re refer to this matrix, this fig figurative language matrix in Microsoft Teams under our folder for unit four creative writing. And again, simply include the definition and then the examples. If the definition is on, in your own words, um, that's fine. If you basically copy and paste a definition from an outside source, then I would ask that you include the definition here in text form and then insert a hyperlink. Remember that you can do so by just selecting the text and going to insert and uh, insert a hyperlink. Give me a second here, my computer's a little slow. Go to insert and then link and copy and paste the, the HTTPS, the URL, uh, to, um, to, as to where you got the, the definition. All right. So there's only one condition that I will, uh, that I'm requiring if you include 10 examples here. All right. So again, you need to have 10 examples. I will consider one of these examples in the review for Friday. If you have any, and they obviously need to be correct examples. Okay. So in this case, we'll have 10 examples of a simile, 10 examples of a metaphor, and so on. They need to be correct examples, but if there are listed by Thursday, 10 examples that are correct, I will consider one of these examples in the review. All right, so that's the only condition that there, there needs to be 10 examples, and those examples need to be correct. Any definitions that are included here, I will consider as well. Any blanks, anything that's not uh, filled out, or in any case where there are less than 10 correct examples listed here, then I will choose at random an example to include in the uh, review for Friday. Here you see the team numbers assigned to each of the types of figurative language, and you can find the list of teams. But what I'm showing here in this screen will appear in a canvas. Okay. It'll appear here in this, not in this page. Uh, I'll get to it here. One sec. If you go to uh, week 16 in module 16, there is a figurative language matrix strategy in parentheses. This is the page uh, that you can access this information that I'm showing here with the instructions and uh, the list of teams. Okay. So I wanted to share this with you as a, an alternative. It's not mandatory, but uh, as I said, if anyone fills this information out, I will consider it for uh, the review on Friday.